Yes, please. My name is Anand. Mm -hmm. My question is about uh, marriage, divorce. I am married. No, no, they are two different things. Huh? Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> what I see today is uh, many youngsters, like many of them, they don't want to marry. And few of them who marry, there are occasions where they are getting divorced. So, would you like to throw some light on this situation, Sadhguru? See, you need to understand the institution of marriage. It's about bringing a certain sanctity to the simple basic needs that every human being has. There are physical needs, there are psychological needs, there are economic needs, emotional needs, social needs, variety of needs. To fulfill all these things, we set up an institution called marriage where all this can be conducted in a sensible manner. Otherwise, if we did it on the streets like every other creature, it would turn ugly for us and we will feel not good about it. So to bring some sense of organization, some aesthetic, some stability because man and woman coming together naturally brought fresh life. It is, compared to any other creature, it is the most helpless life which needs maximum amount of support. You could leave a puppy on the street, as long as he gets food, he grows up into a good dog, no problem. But not so with the human being, he doesn't need just physical support, he needs variety of support and stable, above all a stable situation. Whether there should be marriage in society or not, one will debate when they are eighteen because physical body is asking for freedom, all right? At that time everybody questions, is marriage really needed? Why can't we just live whichever way we want? But when you are three years of age, you valued marriage immensely, a stable marriage immensely, isn't it so? Yes or no? Yes. Again, when you become forty-five, fifty, you are hundred percent for marriage. Between eighteen and thirty-five, you are questioning the whole process, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because where the physical body is dominant, at that time, if you give in to that, then it will question every institution. This is hormone-fired freedom, okay? Your intelligence has been hijacked by hormones. So, you question the fundamentals of everything. I am not saying marriage is the thing, but do you have a better alternative? If you have a better alternative, damn the marriage. But you have not come up with a better alternative, because a stable situation is a must for a child. Once you have a child, it's a twenty-year project. Your whims and fancies will change, your emotions will change. If that is what it is, don't get into such situations. It's not compulsory for everybody to get married. It's good, young people are saying people are thinking whether to get married or not, I'm glad. It is not necessary for everybody. But if you get into it and if you… especially if you get into children, you must understand it's a minimum twenty-year project, whether you like it or you don't like it. Otherwise, you shouldn't get into those projects. You don't walk into your project, drop it halfway and walk away, isn't it? It's your choice, but at least choose consciously. You don't have to get married because everybody is getting married. You don't have to talk about marriage and divorce in same breath, as if they come together. Th this is a completely an American idea, you're thinking of marriage and divorce together. Nobody thought of divorce in this country till recently, isn't it? So, if it happens, if something happens, something truly went wrong between two people and they have to separate, that will anyway inevitably happen. You don't have to plan it at the time of wedding. Why should you ever talk about marriage and divorce in one breath? It's… it's a crime.